everyone. Hey, this is Wynn and Regine. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, guys, how are you both? We're good. And what is it that's made this album just sound so perfect? I mean, the whole journey up to this point, no two albums have ever sounded the same from you, but this one does feel like it's kind of bringing a lot of the things that we love about the band into one very cohesive experience. Does that make sense as someone who's made it? I think earlier in the band, it was more led by energy and enthusiasm and feeling, and I think now it's like you can have a specific idea for a sound in your head and actually achieve it. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I was even thinking about it on stage the other night because it's like if you think of, of like a basketball team and there's different people with different levels of experience and like so Will's like the age that I was when Suburbs came out. And so it's like, you know, it's like we're all kind of bringing different energy on this tour and it feels really the energy in the band feels really strong and really I've been really proud of the shows we've been playing. We're going we're gonna to play this again, the song Electric Blue. We had to kick off the show with it straight away because the vibe is so strong. Is it wrong for me to be able to pay my respects as a fan of, of you and also of them to Chris France and Tina Weymouth and that whole kind of Tom Tom Club feel and the way that there's so much funk and groove to this, but also just the playful nature of these analog synths? Is that okay for me to say? Talking Heads and Tom Tom Club are pretty like essential influences on our band, so I, I would think that would be hidden in there in a lot of our music for sure. Blue from RK5 back to back from an album called Everything Now, which is our July 28th. Was Tomas from Daft Punk involved in the production of that one? I know you've got a few people, Marcus Drath, Jeff Barrow, and Tomas amongst yourselves as primary producers of the record, but whose fingerprints are on that cut? I would say Steve and Tomas pretty equally. That one is was, I mean, it was recorded in, in the Boombox studio in New Orleans, which is our tiny, like I just posted a picture on social media today of the room, and it's a pretty shockingly small room, and Pretty much everything in that track came from a, a live jam. Everyone in the band has a really distinctive part, and that was one of the songs where everyone just had a part, and it all kind of gelled together. It just feels like, um, you know, as with the rest of the album, that this is a dance record. There's a lot of groove in this record. There's a lot of kind of disco influence in this record. But also, as we've become used to with your band, you're definitely using the music to say something as well. Um, now that you've been living with the overarching theme of everything now, you know, what, what has, has it changed for you? Is it changing as you're playing these songs live? Is, is the concept of the album as a whole starting to evolve already the other night i remember even just a couple shows ago singing wake up and feeling the political context of a song like wake up in the current political climate in the u.s it's amazing how just the times make you feel lyrics differently and i mean to me like rebellion and wake up feel way more overtly political than they ever did for singing them in 2004 I mean, kind of remind, like Regina and I went and saw Radiohead play in New Orleans and they played No Surprises, which is like kind of like their poppy Beatles song. And there's like the lines like, uh, bring down the government, that they don't speak, speak for us. us. Yeah. And the whole arena just like erupted in just like this, like it was like the biggest cheer of the whole night. And you wouldn't really think of that as a political anthem, but the times have made it a, <laughs> made it a, it's true. Love in that song, Electric Blue, and Regine sounding so good, um, you know, on the lead on that as well. And I wanted to ask you about your experience of recording this particular song because you've crushed the vocal on that. Um, it sounds fun to listen to. How was it to record and to lay down? It was fun. It was kind of a surprise one because this one is actually the one that came out of a, a jam. And it began, I think, I was on the drums and Jeremy was playing bass and it all switched around and and when was singing it it kind of like languished as a song like it was it was the same song but we couldn't quite figure it out and then we kind of had the idea to put it to the tape machine and to change the pitch and knocked it into regine's key and then she can kind of hit these almost like mariah carey high <laughs> like like it's some of the notes on the song are actually so high like it's true try to sing it. um but like regine is actually one of the few people who's that's her range to sing in so it's like I, we were like, I remember being with Steve and just encouraging her to sing the high harmony and like, go, go higher, sing higher, <laughs> sing higher. <laughs> which, is, which is kind of a little bit of a gift and a curse because now you have to sing it live as well. Everyone's like, well, yeah, but <laughs> it's really high. Like, I want to hear a lot of vocalists try and sing that. It's really high. I have to ask you, just in a playful nature, because I thought it was hilariously funny and I laughed out loud for about 60 seconds when I read the report um, of the new merch and the fact that you playfully, you know, referenced what was going on um, with, you know, the two parts t-shirts with the Jenners and such and how you've done that as well um and uh, whose idea was that to do that 
Uh, my legal team has has asked me to. <laughs> 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 uh, the funny thing to me is, is is much kind of taking the piss of the inevitable articles that would be written about it as much as the thing itself. It's like, well. I know one thing that for sure will get covered, like this will definitely get some pickup. I mean, in a playful way, I mean, it's a joke. We could have played probably the best show in the history of our band and everyone in the crowd could have been sobbing because it was like a miraculously beautiful show or we could make a t-shirt. And which one do you think is going to get covered? Because that show was mind-blowingly great. That's maybe the best Arcade Fire show you ever played, that show in London. <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was this the one in the Castlefield Bowl you're talking about? No, it was in London in a boxing hall, like for a thousand people. And right. it was like, honestly, like I was looking around, I was like, this is kind of the best you ever played in our lives. How did and you I know? know just because almost everyone that's known us forever is like, that's the best we've seen you play since like 2003. Might as well call it a day. I think we did it. Start with funeral, end with everything now. Oh, there's this. a certain symmetry to the whole thing. Are you clickbaiting me again now? Is this hot off the back of T-shirt gate now? Are you, are you going into retirement gate? Is that what the headline's going to be? <laughs> because I may have just done the greatest interview of my life, and the people in this room are actually <laughs> openly sobbing at how good this interview is, but all you f care about is getting press for the fact that you're quitting. Is that what's going on? When did you become so cynical? Was it when you started working for Apple? Or? No, no, I've been cynical the whole time. You just never used to listen to a word I said. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just um, wondering what changed. Did you change or did the world change? I don't know, man. But I think I think <laughs> <laughs> I think I've changed within the context of the world. Um, yeah, me too. <laughs> I think we all change. Nice. We're all changing everything now. Um, It'd be weird if we didn't, you know. Um, all right, <laughs> festivals to come, arenas to play, and uh, yeah, thank you so much. Love this song. Love the whole album. Can't wait to see the arena shows. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for fighting the good fight. Yeah. Play some good. Sh